Walking into the house, it is a raised ranch with the steps going down and the steps going up. We're gonna start out upstairs. The top of the steps brings us to the living room. There's an opening to the eat-in kitchen. You can tell there's good sunlight based on the plants, even though I'd probably kill them. And then you have the picture window. So it's a good size living area. You have the ceiling fan, overhead light. Stepping outside off the kitchen, again, we have this deck. It's good size for a chair and a table, but what I love the most about it is the water view. Obviously, once the trees filled in, you won't have as good of a view of the water, but right now um, on a blue sky day like today, it looks really pretty. Now I wanna take you down the hallway. So again, coming from the front door, the living room, the kitchen are behind me. Start down the hallway and we have to our right here, the laundry room. Again, nice bright window, some light coming in. And then we have um, kind of like a, a closet for it to hide your cleaning supplies. Backing out, we do have a hallway closet. It could be a coat closet. It's used for storage here. And then continuing down the hallway, we'll go into the bedrooms in a minute, but here's the full bath that's upstairs. So you have the double vanity, another nice bright window. There's no seals broken in that window. You have the commode and then you have, you know, the shower. Backing back out of the bathroom go across the hall. Uh, this is what I guess you'd consider the master bedroom. Again, there's no AC, so we do have the fan going, the windows open. Just to give you a view of the ceilings, there's no water damage on any of the ceilings. Um, again, you have the linoleum floor and you do have a walk-in closet, which is nice in this room here. So like I said, this is the size of this room. This would be considered the master bedroom. Going back out the hallway, there's the bathroom. And then we have the second bedroom that's upstairs. Again, I love the colors in this room. Nice uh, windows. Again, there's no broken seals that you can see in those windows and no water damage. That's noticeable. There is two different color paints. Uh, that's just, um, when somebody tried to color match it, it wasn't quite right, but that's not a, a flaw in the wall. It's just something that needs to be done. So coming back down the hallway, again, you have the bathroom, you have the master bedroom, the linen closet, and the laundry room. So coming back down the hallway, there is the stairwells there with the front door. You have under the step storage here, just to show you again, this is the bathroom. Um, you know, there are, there are some things that need to be done in the home, but it is priced accordingly. Um, they just fixed the ceiling. You can see the ceiling paint. So you could pick the color that you'd want to go on this wall. Going back to where the bathroom is here and come in here and give you a tour. Um, there are, every once in a while on the drywall, you'll see like a little bit of a hole. Um, you know, some things need fixed just like in any house. And then you come back down and this is the living room. This is one of my favorite features of the house. You have a whole separate living down, living room downstairs, just like upstairs. So you have nice natural light coming in. You have the drop ceiling and you kind of have like a, a window in the, in the wall here to see through. Coming back over here, that door goes to the garage. Here's again, the window. And then this is another little separate area that could be used for an office, be used for a mud room, you know, whatever your, your needs are, that's how this room could be. Uh, and then, like I said, that door goes out into the garage.